Today's episode is about packaging, the traditional packaging, but also about the future and about using less plastic. Welcome at XI Europe and welcome at our autumn news update. Today we like to talk about added value and packaging. Packaging is extremely important for XI Europe. We have decided to have an in-house dedicated packer in Elshout to give the possibility for a last minute service to our clients. So today we like to show you how, for example, a traditional carton of 15 kilo telescopic cartons packed by our new strategic partner Lona ends up in a two kilo or a three kilo netted consumer packaging. Also, we like to show you how we add value in innovative new gray packagings and the traditional 500 gram pallet. But first of all, why do we pack fruit in Holland? Why don't we pack everything at source? First of all, there's the environmental pressure because when we ship conventional fruit compared with fruit packed into the consumer packaging, we lose approximately 20 to 25% cargo. Meaning, at the end, we have to use 20 to 25% more containers to get the fruit from the source to Holland. Secondly, there's a lot of clients with individual demands on packaging, on labeling and on private labeling. For example, we have got clients that want only fruit packed and labeled with a Czech Republic text. Secondly, we have clients with a different expiry date, best before date, and other client-specific information. Not to mention that we pack a lot of fruit under the labels of the international supermarkets. But enough said, let's go down and see some of the action together. Okay, welcome in our beautiful brand new packaging department. Here we pack all kinds of fruits into different consumer packagings. As you can see, on this side, we have two brand new, fantastic citrus packaging machines that are highly efficient. We will use both machines with only seven to eight people and it's got a capacity of about eight to 10 pallets an hour. We pack it into cartons and also into multiple crates, like we pack here for a, a French supermarket, into Evco crates. On this side of the packaging department, we only focus on the added value of grapes. So what you see here is a traditional 500 gram grape on it that we will label at source with a specific client information and data that is required to deliver tomorrow morning anywhere in Europe. Okay guys, this is a sneak preview of our next episode and it's all about the ready to eat room. We are building a fantastic facility to ripen and trigger plums, peaches and nectarines. But oh, I will not tell you anymore, it's all about the next episode. Welcome back and hope that you've enjoyed our tour in our fantastic new packaging department. But let's talk about the future. What's next? One thing is for sure, we use too much plastic. Our retail team is continuously looking for alternatives. We have introduced the heat seal top seal pallet that reduces the plastic by about 17 to 18 percent compared with the traditional pallet. A good step forward. But it's actually not good enough. The next step could be completely compressed paper, a pallet that is fully recyclable, that we can eventually top seal like this, or even better, a pallet made out of sugarcane. Problem at the moment is that there is no economy of scale and the products are not available all over the world, which make the availability of the fruit low and the prices high. We even came up with an alternative for our all-time favorite, the EXA Ziploc carry bag, which is the EXA paper bag. Paper bags that's already being packed at the moment in South Africa, Namibia and Brazil. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to follow us on the social media and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.